Welcome to Lumion 9 Tutorial 8. In this tutorial, we will show you how to create 360-degree panoramic images of your project. To create panoramic images, click on the right-hand side on 360 Panorama. Now move to a nice location. For example, here. Set the eye point at 1.60 meter. Put the eye point horizontal eye level and go to one of the slots and store the panorama. You can render the panorama by clicking on this button. So here we have some options to choose from. The resolution, 4K or 8K, the quality level, stereoscopic or not stereoscopic, for stereoscopic mode, you need a VR headset to view it because each eye needs to see a different image. For monoscopic flat image, you can view the 360-degree panoramic image on a tablet, on a mobile phone, on a web browser. So let's start with that. Let's keep this as generic. Render at 4K resolution. So here you see the image created before your eyes. Now it looks a bit funny because it wasn't designed to be looked at in this way. It was designed to look at in a special browser or viewer, where you turn the viewpoint in different directions. If you now go to your browser, for example, in Facebook, you can upload the image. Share it and now you can look in all directions. You can even make it bigger. So you can share the 360 degree image that you just created in Lumion in a few clicks on your Facebook. Another way of creating panoramic images is to use My Lumion. You can email it to yourself. So now the panoramic image will be created in a slightly different format and uploaded to My Lumion, where you can see it on a browser. Now we can look in all directions by clicking with the mouse and shifting left, right, up, down. You can view it full screen and use the buttons in the corner. And we can see it on a tablet or mobile phone in the same way by opening the link in the email. You can create multiple panoramic images in the same scene. For example, another one over here. And a third one over there. And now we can render them all three in one go, and they will have hot links between them. By clicking on this icon, you will see the other spots where we also created panoramas. We can just click on it and go straight to that position. Now we can do the same on a tablet or mobile phone. If you want to go back to My Lumion at a later stage, you can always go there by clicking on this button. So here my two panoramic images are stored. And I can change the text, save changes, and click on it again. And share this link by just copy-pasting the link in an email or another social media account. Now what we did not see so far is the use of styles. This button is grayed out. Styles are currently not available for panoramas. The reason is that some of these special effects 
do not work for 360 degree images. If you go to the effects section, and you will see all the effects that are and that are not available for panoramic images. So there are still some important ones left, which improve the image quality definitely, but a lot of them have gone. But you can still get close to the same result by going back, for example, to photo mode. And here, copy paste the style set. Paste effects. So now you still have some special effects. You see that the list is much shorter than what we saw before in photo mode, but still there are some effects left. You can also add real skies. See how that looks? Copy across to the other ones. Render again. So as you can see now, maybe it's a little bit dark, but you can add quite realistic effects. Now let's go to one of the other options, and that's stereoscopic. In this case, two images will be rendered, one for each eye, but it uses a different algorithm, so it takes quite longer processing time. Here at the bottom right, you can see how much time will probably be spent rendering this image. It can take quite a while, so we won't wait for that. Before we want to do this, Let's go to Draft Quality and set some advanced settings. Reduce the number of slices to 250 and try again. So now it goes a little bit faster. It is always a good idea to see if your image has the right position and settings before you spend time on doing the higher quality rendering. So if we look at this image, we see two panoramic images placed on top of each other, one for the left and one for the right eye. These can only be viewed inside a VR headset like the Oculus Go. To view them, you need to transfer the images to the Oculus Go, start the Oculus Go, and it will recognize them automatically. In the Oculus Go, you need to go to Navigate, Gallery, and then Internal Storage. And here, albums are created corresponding to the folder names that you created in Windows Explorer. So now you can look around in all directions. Similarly, we can use Dropbox. Go to Navigate, Gallery, and go to Dropbox. You can connect your Dropbox account. Once you connected it, you have the same folders as you have in Dropbox available over here. So if you put your images in one folder, they will appear here as well. For this, you don't need any wire connected to your headset to get the images across. This concludes Lesson 8 about how to create panoramic images.